Hello, today I'm gonna to do a review of the Sega Transparent Liar Bean Harp. So when you get this harp, if you decide to buy one, it comes in a hard, like a hard padded case, and it has a little carrying handle on the top, and it zips, unzips all the way around. And it opens like this. And this is how it looks. It has a little strap right here that holds it in place. I'm gonna take it out. And um, this is a 21 string, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's 21 strings. And when it, I had to color in the letters and numbers right here because um, I can't see well. When you get this, there's no colorization in it at all. It just, it's the same color as the entire harp. It's transparent, so it's nearly impossible to see. So I had to take some paint and go over them and then wipe off the surface real quick so the paint wouldn't dry on the acrylic. And now the paint's dry inside the numbers and I can see them really, really well. And um, I, I did a little boo-boo on mine. That's why I have the crystals on it right here. Um, when I got this liar, there was some a little bit of adhesive on here. Um, and stupid me didn't realize that if you put acetone on acrylic, it like scratches and clouds it really bad. So I'll take off one of these. I took off one. You can see right there where I removed it, what it did, how it damaged it. So that was my heartbroken story about this, but I love this harp. I did a review on my teal colored um, wooden harp. And honestly, this one's my favorite because I can actually see after I paint it in the numbers, but it sounds really beautiful. Very pretty. I like doing eerie music, like creepy. Whoa. The low ones are really hard to get. I mean, they're not hard to pluck. It's just, this one sounds kind of, oh. This one's a little buzzy. There's something going on here. I'm gonna have to check that out. Otherwise, I don't know. It might be because my ring. No, my ring isn't. I have no idea why it's doing that. It wasn't doing it before. But anyway, it just started doing it. I probably dropped something in the sound hole like being a weird oh I did I see it one of the crystals fell down in there and I don't know how I'm gonna get that out see that crystal I took off I didn't realize fell down in there oh wait it's not on the inside thank goodness <laughs> and no I don't really edit my videos but I got it <laughs> it was on the outside thank goodness it didn't go in the sound hole but now it won't make that <laughs> buzzing sound Whenever you do get a buzzing sound, it's probably something's touching the strings that shouldn't be. You just have to look at it really well to find out exactly what it is. <sighs> I'm so relieved. But anyway, this is a beautiful sounding harp. And it's actually my favorite one. I don't have to worry about heat, humidity, or anything like that cracking the wood. I can take this outside. I can take it to campfires. 
I can travel with it without having, without worrying about it cracking or splitting or anything like that. But it's my absolute favorite. And um, you do get the tuning wrench with it, some picks, the basic booklet. Um, everything that comes with it will be on the Amazon link that I post below. And if you do decide to purchase one of these through my Amazon link, I will get a commission from that and all the funds for that go towards me giving free lessons to students out here in Appalachia. And it also helps me buy ukuleles um, for the students out here in Appalachia. Right now I'm just an ukulele instructor, but I do plan on becoming um, a mandolin instructor as well as soon as I pass my certification course. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a review on this. It's a great harp. Um, the tuning, if you're not familiar with tuning one of these harps, when you tune it, you just turn it just a tiny little millimeter and then test your tuning because if you don't, you could snap the strings. That's not like a hard turn. You have to like really just really, really easy. And I noticed that the tuning pegs on these are a little bit tighter than the ones on the wooden one. And I guess it's because this one's acrylic, but um, the back of it looks like this. And that's the front. And I'll put an Amazon link below. It was $100 even. I got it in just a couple days. But um, yeah, I just wanted to give you my review. And And you could play it any way you want because the way that the notes are set up. You don't have to know a song. You can just, you know, take it outside and enjoy just the beautiful sound of the harp and play however you like. It's just it's a wonderful thing to have. But um, anyway, I appreciate you watching me and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.